Are you bored with the same old folder icons on your desktop? This vid will show you how to change them to exactly what you want. First of all you need to choose an image, any image. And using GIMP image manipulation you can uh, make the background transparent now you won't have to do the first part of this video if you don't really want to, you can still use any image. But I'll put in the description uh, something to click on that will let you skip to the part that you need to know about for any image. Right, once GIMP is loaded up, you need to click on File and open the image that you want to use. Once the image is up, right click outside the border of the image. My computer is a bit slow because of the screen capture. Go to layer in the transparency and add alpha channel. Once you've done this, right click on the image, go to select and then go to by color. Then left click and that will select the color that you want to get rid of. Go to edit and then cut. And there you go, there's your transparent image. And you need to save it, so go to file and save as. I read somewhere that it, it works better if you use a GIF, so go down to this bit at the bottom, select file by type, and select GIF from that list. And save. Click on export. Then save. then you can close down GIMP because you're done with that for now. now just to make it easier to find the file you're looking for you could delete the original picture or put it somewhere else I'm gonna delete it there we go right now we have our transparent image but we can't use it for our folder icon yet so we need to uh, convert it to uh, I don't know how to pronounce, I'll say ICO format. I'll use this handy little online image converter thing. I'll put links so you can use it yourself. <coughs> Click on browse. And find the image that we've um, <coughs> Manipulated. Open. We have to wait for it to uh, be ready. It's 100%, but it's not quite ready yet. There we go, now it's ready. You click on the ICO bit. There. And click on Download Converted File. Save to the desktop so it's easy to find. Give it another name so we don't get mixed up. There we go, that should do it. Click save. It should download pretty quick. There we go. Right, let's shut the browser, don't need that no more. Alright, here's our converted file. Oops. Now drag it to the into the folder that we want to use the image for. And right click on that folder. Go to properties. Click on customize. And change icon. Click on browse. And 
and we know where that is. We'll go to desktop and the icon folder that I chose. There it is. I've done this before. This is just for a tutorial. So there we go. That's that's one. And there it is. Click OK. Apply. And OK again. And there you have it. There's your snazzy icon. Which is uh, also transparent. Or transparent background. Much better than the old boring folder icons that we had before. I hope this was helpful. And thanks for watching. Just feeling so alone